little stashy. Hey. Ooh, this look good. <laughs> let me see. Let me get Ooh, one. Look at that. Oh, ah! You so cute. Oh. oh. Ramsey, look. It's our baby. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Let's take a picture of them. Let's take a picture. Let's take a Say picture. Say cheese, guys. Cheese. Wow. Pepper Jack. <laughs> wow. It's so cool and so fun to take like photos yeah. of ourselves. I like it. Silly photos are fun. Yes. You think some you think some of them take pictures, Mr. Stop? Yes, I hope so. I hope you guys take funny selfies. Oh man. Woo! That one was a keeper that we took yes. you guys. We are so we excited. We are so glad to see you back. What's up, guys? Woo! It's Miss Tashi. How are you guys doing this, Mr. Ramsey? <laughs> <laughs> so what are we talking about? I mean, last week was just amazing. Oh my goodness. I mean, we went from Christmas in the summer. Okay. Talked about what? Grace is a gift. Come on, because right. grace is a gift. Right? It's not and something we can earn. It's not something we can earn, and there's nothing that we can do to earn God's love. Hmm. And we can't make up for the bad that we did by trying to do more good. Wow. And now I hope they took what we said and allowed the Holy Spirit to use them, Mr. Stashi. I know, Stashi, that's right, because... To be, be better. That's right, because that's real. That's real life. So, what is our focus this summer? And what have we been talking about? We've been talking about faith, which is so important. Faith is trusting in what you can't see, but what you can see, right? On. That's right. <laughs> so, faith is trusting in what you can't see and because of what you can see. And with these glasses, Mr. Ramsey can see what I'm thinking. Ho, 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 ho! Is that to see what you're thinking, boys? I think I see a bird over there, Mr. Stashi! Ka, ka, ka. Oh, man, it looks really, uh, yeah, it's, fl it's flying there. <laughs> Let's get so, to Mr. This Ramsey, lesson. can you tell us this week mm -hmm. of what our Bible story is about? Which First, we're so excited. We're going to talk about an amazing character. Oh. His name is Paul. Come on, Paul. And we're going to talk about trouble in the mind. Wow. So, when we talk about people from the Bible, are they real people? They are real. They actually lived. They actually been through these things, mm -hmm. and they write these stories to tell us what they've been through, hoping that whatever we go through, they can teach us how to make it through. Right, because these stories are very real yes. and very true. Very. Sometimes they feel like a movie, but God uses the Bible as our what, kids? Guide. Yes, Hello. I heard Y'all know what's I, up. I heard it. It was coming. Yes. <laughs> As our guide to help us through. Yes. So with the Bible mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit, we can make it. We can because make it. Because he sent the greatest gift of all time. Come on. And Jesus. What, hey! <laughs> Ooh, did you feel that? I did. I I, yeah. I really did. I think I, I think I saw it too. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> oh, that's light. Okay. Let's get back to this lesson about trouble in the, the mind. mind. Paul's shipwreck. So maybe Ooh. we should do like a movie theme. Yeah. Oh, and talk about the memory verse. Come on. Because the memory verse says here. Say it, Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2. Verse 8. Verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 8. Verse 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 6, 6, 7, 8. eight. Yes, and it says, God grace has saved you mm -hmm. because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. God is so sweet. He is so amazing. He's so sweet. Because it's nothing that we did. Yeah. He just loves us. Do you have a testimony, Miss Nastasi? Because we normally do testimony times. What is one testimony that you can share with all the beautiful children watching right now, whether iPad, phone, or their big old television? Let me think. Let me think, 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 mm -hmm. think, think, think. I have a lot of testimonies, Mr. Ramsey. Share one. Um, one of my biggest testimonies was... Uh, coming back to work for Children's Church. Mm, let me put on my glasses so I can hear and see better. Go ahead and tell me. Because I used to work for Children's Church years 
years ago. Okay. And there were some things in me that God needed to clean out of me that wasn't right. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Miss Tashi had flaws. Miss Tashi wasn't perfect. But God helped me to see that in me. And I had to go to God and say, God, I'm wrong. Wow. I'm not doing some things right. I'm out of your will. I'm not doing some things right. But I really want to work with the children. And I know that I need to get myself right. Mm -hmm. And I admitted it, just like I told you guys last week. I went to God. I admitted my wrongs. I asked for forgiveness. And I believe that God healed my mind, healed my heart, healed my body, and allowed me to be renewed, meaning made afresh, and was able to bring me back to Children's Church, wow. to Kingdom Kids. So Kingdom Kids is my testimony. So it's almost like the word we talked about last week, mm -hmm. repent, right? Right. So you turn away from mm -hmm. what was your struggle. Yeah. So now we see that now God has healed your mind. Yeah. There's no more trouble in your mind. No. But there was something that Paul was trying to explain. Right. And what we're getting ready to learn. Yes, because wow. Mustachi was a walking shipwreck. Ooh! Do, do. The water. But now I'm a cruise ship. Hey! Here we go. Put the glasses on to see it. <gasps> oh, we gotta see, we gotta see. Set sail! We're going go. All aboard, shipwreck on earth. Aye, aye, captain! You are the first, here we go. You know God is our captain. Yes, he is. Let me hear you say aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain! Aye, aye, captain! Oh, here they go. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Wow, so that's just an amazing that yes. we, we we don't have to work for this this this, no, this gift. We don't. It's already given to us. Yes, that's why he's such a good guy. Do you have a testimony, Mr. Ramsey? Uh, you know, one of the testimonies I can probably share is I'm alive. Yeah. With everything that's going on with COVID and you know, uh, not being able to be everywhere. I'm grateful that I could be everywhere and I have not been affected, through, affected thank God. Yes. You know, and you know, wearing my mask and right. washing my hands for 20 seconds and over. I know our babies yes. gonna be washing their Wash hands. your hands. And you wearing know. your mask. Or, wear, we know you're gonna get tired of it, but yes. wear it for your safety. safety. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, it's it's been an incredible, I'm just grateful that God mm. has allowed me mm. to live and be able to be here to share yes. this announcement. Yes, because Kingdom Kids. Oh, we love it. We love you guys. We love it. Yes. Well, let's get back to this movie because yes. Paul, who is this amazing person, he begins to share with us about people who deal with trouble in their mind. Now, you know what? I what? heard Paul went through it. He, ooh. He went all up and through the okie doke. Yes. Yes. So, Mr. Ramsey, yes. I want you to do something for me. Yes. I want you to put on your best movie impersonator voice. Okay. All right, and I want you to say this for me. Everybody, get ready. <clears throat> okay. Get the popcorn. It's just like a trailer. Yes. Come on, get ready. In a world full of angry people, <gasps> One courageous man was willing to tell others about Jesus. Even if he had gotten beaten up, made a fun of, mm. and tossed into jail, mm. the legend, oh. the man of faith, Paul. Paul. Woo! I gotta put that on because that was 3D. Okay, that word was the truth. Woo! So y'all want to know who Paul is? Let's talk about it. I'm so excited. Let's talk about it. So let me tell you about Paul. Talk to me. Because that sounds just like a movie trailer. Mm -hmm. Well, in many ways, mm -hmm. Paul's life was like a movie. Mm -hmm. Everybody say, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody say, drama. Drama. Yes. He was beaten up, mm. thrown in jail. What? And even chased out of a bunch of towns and cities. Can you imagine being beaten up? Wow. Thrown into jail. Thrown in jail? And he's going from city to city, so that's And they're going... kicking him out. Wow. What? Just, and let me tell y'all why he got thrown out of town, mm. thrown in jail, yes. beaten up, bullied, kicked, why? Why? spit why? at, why? Why? all why? of that. What happened? He was telling others about the good news about Jesus. He went through all of that because he was telling people about our Savior, our greatest gift, wow. Jesus. Finally, in Jerusalem, Paul was arrested by Roman soldiers. 
after an angry mob tried to kill him. The soldiers were actually afraid of the crowd wow. and would kill Paul. Mm. So they put him in jail to keep us safe. Then people tried to kill that man. Wow. Because they were telling, because he was unashamed. He was not afraid to tell people about our greatest gift. So I could imagine with all this that Paul is dealing with, right? He's getting beaten up. He's going from Orlando to Winter Garden, Winter Garden to Windermere. He's he's <sighs> he's not safe anywhere. Claremont, Apopka. Can you imagine what's happening in his mind? He's homeless, but the only reason he's doing this is because he wants to preach about Jesus. So I know he was afraid, but there was a boldness in him. Mm. Because all of that was happening to him, but he still stood up tall. And he let everybody know what's up. So Paul, what was up. So Paul had confidence, you're telling me. Yes, he had confidence in Christ. Mm. That's how we're supposed to be. Wow. And I know I am. Wow. I am confident about Christ Jesus. Maybe we should tap them say, say, I am. I am. Confident. Confident. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Mm. I know that's right. So let me tell you what happened after they put him in tell jail. Tell me more because and, I'm and just look, interested. The mm -hmm. Roman soldiers really was trying to keep him safe. That's why they put him in jail. Wow. Mm. So what seemed like he was going to a place because he was in trouble, they used that moment to protect him. They did. So God uses people to take you from one place and to protect you in another. So they put him in jail mm. to keep him safe because of the angry mob. Them people was going crazy. Yes, while he was there, guess who appeared to him? Jesus. Yes, Jesus appeared to Paul and said, Paul, I need you to be brave. Isn't that something? Mm. Jesus appeared to Paul in jail. And let me tell you something about jail. It was dark, it was cold. Mm. It was like a refrigerator. Yes. And you know when you open the refrigerator door, the light is on. And when you close it, the light turns off. So could you imagine being in a box that's dark and cold like a refrigerator? But guess what? Jesus mm. opened that door and was the light and stood in there and appeared to Jesus. And Jesus appeared to Paul and said, Paul, keep going, be courageous, and be brave. So, okay. that was a, so that was a reminder. So, you know, it's interesting, Ms. Nastashi, that Paul didn't have access to TikTok. Mm -hmm. He didn't have access to Snapchat. Right. He didn't have access to YouTube. You know, he didn't have access to any of that. Mm -hmm. And the one person to remind him of how to be brave was not his friends on Snapchat no. or TikTok. It was Jesus. It Jesus, was Jesus came and he talked to him. He came and talked to him because let me tell you, Jesus had plans for Paul. Mm. And so, you know, sometimes we are afraid. Mm. Sometimes we don't have the courage to stand up. Sometimes we get weak. But Jesus came as a reminder to say, hey, Paul, be brave. Be courageous. Keep going. I have plans for you. Mm. I got a question, Ms. Nastasha. Uh -huh. Do you think, let's see who's watching this. Let's see, if you're watching this, have you ever had fear about something that you knew inside it was right for you to do, but you were just afraid because you didn't know what the outcome would be? Did it trouble your mind? Because if it did, we have the answer for you. We see it with Paul here, to trust in Jesus. To trust in Jesus, he doesn't fail you. He doesn't. Sometimes it feels like, oh God, I'm alone in this situation. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sometimes people even question, is God real? Is this real? Because even I can't with, see it. Even with the pandemic, with the COVID, I could imagine a lot of our beautiful kids are saying, God, where are you with this COVID? I want to be with my friend. I want to be with my family. I want right. to go to birthday parties. I want to do all those I things that I used to do. I miss my teachers. I miss my teachers. But God, where are you? And God is saying, trust in me. Be courageous. Be strong. Be brave. brave. Don't feel like you're alone because he's with you. He's with you. He's with you. Mm. He is with you. And I know, raise your hand if you've ever gotten afraid or scared. I'm going to put two hands up and my feet. <laughs> your toes are short. But um, that's not the point, kids. The point, the moral of the story is to be brave, be courageous. And, you know, we're going to stop here today.
Yeah. But Mr. Rams is going to let you guys know about the memory verse again because we want to hear you guys say yeah. these memory verses. We want yeah. you to know why you're being strong. Know yeah. why you're being courageous. Know why you're being brave. Yeah. Know why God is granting you grace and knowing yeah. that there is nothing that you can do. God right. loves you. Yes. He loves you regardless of what you go through. Mm -hmm. He chose you. That's why you are here watching this right now. Kids from all over the place, you are watching this and you're part of Kingdom Kids. You are, so no matter so if you've ever been here with us or not. Yes. You are a part of Kingdom Kids. And you should share this with your friends. Well, let's say this memory verse together, right? Okay. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 8. Verse 8. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, are you ready? Yes. Put your thumbs up. I see you. We're ready. Now, let me put my glasses on. Oh, yes, yeah, so we right? can see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> it says, God's grace. God's grace. Has saved you. Has saved you. Because of your faith. Because of your faith. In Christ. In Christ. Your salvation. Your salvation. Doesn't come from anything you do. Doesn't come from anything you do. It, it is. Is. God. God. Gift. Gift. It is God's gift. It so is. God's grace has saved you. Saved you. Because of your faith in Christ. Yes. Your salvation mm -hmm. doesn't come from anything you do. Anything you do. It is God's gift. God's gift. God loves you. Yes, Just he does. Just a reminder that no matter what's troubling your mind, your focus should be on Jesus. That's right. Pray. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow strong. Grow strong, grow your faith, be brave, be confident in Christ Jesus, because he's with you and he loves you. And if you don't know how to pray, and if you don't know the words to say, lift your hands like this, and say, Father God. Father God. I don't know the words to say. I don't know the words to say. I don't know the words to pray. I don't know the words to pray. But help my mind. Help my mind. Help my heart. Help my heart. And my soul. And my soul. To be. To be. Who you need me to be. Who you need me to be. And make a way. And make a way. For me to create the words. For me to create the words. To say to you. To say to you. To pray. To pray. And also, guys. Even if you want to know how to pray, yes. I want you to go to YouTube yes. or go to Google and look up the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Type in the Lord's Prayer for kids, yes. and that's how you can learn how to pray. Yes. Right, Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a cool way. I like that. Yes. That's a hot diggity dog way. People still say hot diggity dog? Yes. I, it just came to mind because of my glasses. I appreciate that. Thank you. Kids, remember to follow God. Love people. And change the city. We love you. We love you. Ah! See you next week.